Hey guys, today I am filming my summer favorites video for 2020 and I know that the background is not the cutest right now but I'm centering myself in front of the window because I am filming during the day and if any sunlight is coming in I want it to be as even as possible. And now with that little spiel out of the way, let's get into my summer favorites. Surprisingly, I have several beauty favorites even though we've been quarantined all summer long. I do also have some random favorites and a little bit of a life update at the end as well. So just jumping into the products, the first thing is something I actually should have mentioned in my spring favorites, which I will link up in the cards. And this is a nail polish from KL Polish, which was Kathleen Light's old brand. It's no longer available, unfortunately, but I was, very lucky that I was able to get a ton of polishes from this brand before the company shut down. So the color that I was loving is Miss Honey. It's a beautiful nude polish with a bit more of like a peachy pink undertone to it. It is so, so pretty. And all of my other nudes I tend to wear in the winter time, but I really loved this one in the spring. So I will insert a picture of what this looked like on my nails, but I think this is such a pretty color. Again, I'm sorry you guys aren't able to get that, but it was my first time wearing it this year and I really, really loved it. So then for the summer favorites, the first thing is the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer. So I do have the foundation as well. I've only used it once or twice. I'm liking it, but I haven't used it enough to develop full opinions on it. But I have used the concealer several times and my shade is Fair 03. And I'm going to be very gentle here. So it does have a very large doe foot applicator, just like the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This one does give a full coverage. It has more of a satin finish. It blends out really nicely. I do get a tiny bit of creasing, but I get that with all concealers, but it's not bad at all. I definitely have other concealers that crease worse than this one. So I was just super duper impressed with this. I do think I still like Tarte Shape Tape a little bit more, but this is very close and I was definitely impressed by that formula. Next, I have a bronzer favorite. So I've had this one for about a year now, but I hadn't given it too much love last year. But I really, really enjoyed wearing it this year, and that would be the Becca Sunlit Bronzer in Capri Coast, which is the second lightest shade in the range. I definitely could have gone with the fairest shade, but I know that one is a little bit more cool tone, which I don't like for bronzers, but this one I thought was really nice. So this is very pigmented. It does blend nicely. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, which I think just makes it look more natural on the skin. It's definitely not glowy. This is a very powdery bronzer though, so you don't want to be rough with your brush in there or you'll get a ton of kick up and a bit of wasted product. So that is a bit of a bummer to me, but it's not terrible. The pan also is pretty thin, so I could see someone getting through this bronzer pretty quickly. I can't remember if it was Kelly Gooch or Too Much Tosh or maybe both of them that panned this Becca bronzer before. All of that being said, I actually think the packaging is super cute and I really love the formula of this bronzer and they have I think maybe six shades and they do go pretty deep which is fantastic. I'm really happy to see that. So definitely love this bronzer. Next I have a cream blush. This is the Nude Sticks Nudies All Over Face Dewy Color and this one is in the shade Sweet Peach Peony. And it's really messy looking. This is such a cute peachy color with like a little bit of pink in it. It's really, really pretty. And the way that I have found best to apply this over top of my foundation, and I do wear full coverage foundation, is that I just will take my e.l.f. small stipple brush and just run over the top of the product, evenly coating my brush, and then I just stamp it on my cheeks. That works so well to apply it, blend it out, not mess up my makeup underneath. It gives me a great amount of pigment and coverage. So this is a great combo here. I also like that this is a smaller brush, so I'm able to apply it just in the areas that I want it and not like an all over mess. So love this combo, but I was really, really happy with this product. And I think it's because it's in the dewy line. It's, it looks, you know, a little glowy. It's healthier on the skin, but really for me, it's just easier to apply and blend, which I love. But you can see on my hand, there's a bit of a glow to it. Really, really enjoy this formula and that color is so beautiful. Next we have some Becca blushes and these are both from the Luminous blush line. Their mineral blush line is great as well. I do have a few other favorites from there, but 
these luminous blushes are so beautiful now the line has a lot of really rich colors and they're very pigmented and these would be great for all kinds of skin tones because they have deep colors but they're also very rich in pigment so the two shades i have are the two lighter shades in the range and i have a little mini in the shade camellia which is a warm watermelon pink and then we have snapdragon which is a beautiful coral color i love these so pigmented they have a beautiful glow that doesn't look too shiny on your cheeks it doesn't emphasize texture it just looks very natural and glowy and healthy these are very very pigmented so i do have to be careful when i apply them but i do find that they blend out quite nicely and i really really love using these blushes this summer next i have this little baby z palette from sephora with some blushes in it and i just love the way that this looks but i really enjoyed all these blushes this summer so the big ones are from ColourPop. this is my sun and stars and this one is so retrograde which is a really unique tangerine type blush i think this would work well on a ton of different skin tones as well they both have a gorgeous amount of shine and sheen to them which you will see on the cheeks but they don't look metallic and frosty these are very pigmented as well so i do have to be careful when i apply them but they blend nicely they just look so beautiful this is very similar to nars orgasm except it has a deeper base it's a little bit more corally than warm pink but it's similar but i've gotten rid of like all of my blushes that are that nars orgasm type so now this is my only one and seriously this so retrograde shade is so unique kathleen lights made both of those shades if i didn't say so already it's so unique and so cool i love having that in my collection and then this is a little mini Lorac blush in technicolor it came out of a face palette i think the Lorac blushes are amazing they're matte finishes they're very very pigmented really intense which i love they blend nicely as well they're super smooth and this is just a really beautiful like warm pinky coral color that i think is very flattering in the summertime as well so i loved all of those and then we have just a little bit more blush i'm excited i have this many blushes i have some rediscovers and then this is something that is new to me well i bought it you know a couple months ago but this was new to me this year this is the lunar beauty moon prism palette and the packaging is amazing you have all these raised moons i love the colors on it manny's products have such great packaging but if you guys saw the picture for this palette on the sephora website you like me would think this is going to be an all coral blush palette that's what i was expecting when i got it in the mail that is not what this was and at first i was really disappointed by that but then i realized you don't really need six coral blushes considering that's the shade of all the single blushes in your collection so it's actually much more versatile than the picture online so you have a baby pink this is a sh very shimmery like peachy pink color but it's not like nars orgasm it's much lighter then you've got like a matte bright peach color kind of like mac peaches this one is more of a warm pink then you have a more mauve tone and a more brown tone so i have actually worn all of these blushes and they looked beautiful on the skin i think they all worked well on me which i wasn't sure if the darker shades would but i really really like them with the different makeup looks i tried them with this very pale matte pink actually showed up very well the shades show up like a little bit darker on the skin than they look in the packaging which is great and i applied all of these with the morphe and jaclyn hill jh04 my everything brush and that one is so good for really pigmented blushes so the two of those go really really well together but i definitely recommend this blush palette if you've been interested in it it's great great quality and this is a really nice variety of shades here i love them all i use them all several times definitely definitely recommend this blush palette then i have two highlighters for you one of them is from becca i just realized i have becca blush bronzer and highlighter in here which is funny because i'm not a huge becca fan but they definitely do amazing cheek products but this first highlight is a surprise favorite of mine this is their shimmering skin perfector in champagne pop i had always thought this shade would be too dark for me but my sister has it and loves it i'm a fair skin tone she's a light skin tone and she gets a bit of tan in the summertime so she can get away with this and i didn't think i could but at least the shade in this mini that i have works very well for me it does have that nice peachy 
base, but it has a champagne flash, which makes it wearable for me. This is something I can only wear in the summer and I don't go outside to even get much color, but it works well with the tiny color I get and the other makeup products I pair it with, but I was surprised with how well this worked on my skin tone and I really do like the Becca Highlight formula. The only one I haven't loved is Pearl and I think it's just because it's such a white shade. It's hard for that one to not look that chalky on the skin, but I don't really think it has to do with the formula. It's just that kind of shade. But anyway, really good formula. Really, really enjoyed that shade. Next is a Ofra highlight. This was a collab with Madison Miller. This is the shade Moon Dance. It's a beautiful golden champagne highlight that is just a little bit darker than Star Island. They're very similar. You definitely don't need them both, but because I have them both, I wanted to get use out of both of them. I think that the Ofra highlighters are so incredible. They are some of the most metallic highlights ever. They have a beautiful formula that like when you look at it, you might think it's like a baked gelée, but it's, I don't think it is. I don't like gelée products. I find them very hard to pick up on a brush or that I really have to dig my brush in, run back and forth several times. Not with these, they're so pigmented. They're very smooth. It will draw attention to texture just because it's so metallic, but like it doesn't look like the product is just sitting on your skin. It does melt in. The Ofra highlighters are some of the best in the world. The formula is so phenomenal. They've come out with so many different shades. I have several of them and I'm really impressed with how many of the highlights actually work for my skin tone. So definitely do recommend this one if it's still available. And I bought a bunch of the Madison Miller products when Ofra had a, I think, 50% off sale around Black Friday. But all of Madison Miller's products did end up in Ipsy bags and different packaging because she is an Ipsy partner. So if you're wanting it even cheaper than what I paid for it, definitely go on eBay and look for the products. It will be in round packaging with a clear lid, but it's the same quality product, just much cheaper. So just a little tip for you, but definitely recommend both of these highlights. I'll show them to you side by side. The Becca's definitely darker, but and peachier, but just so you can see that. So in the shade, in the light. Next we have a couple eye products. So the first would be some single shadows that I've been using for transition crease outer corner. So one shade here is like my main favorite that I wanted to feature, but I have been using all three of these together a lot, which is why I'm showing them to you. So this one is Birkin. I use it as a transition color. Bengal is my crease color. You can see I've used up so much of them. But the star of the show is this shade Brick. I use this as an outer corner color. This is just so beautiful because it's not too orange. It's not too red. It's just a perfect brown color that works very well for my outer corner. But if you do have more tan in your skin, then this would be a really nice crease color for you as well. I love the Anastasia Matte Single Shadows. I find them to be very pigmented and blendable. A little bit of kick up, but I don't find them to be too messy to work with. They're not muddy. So love all three of those, but Brick I think is absolutely incredible. Next is a surprise favorite of mine. This is the Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions. I've always said that this is a disappointing palette to me because I love the two shimmers in here very pigmented. They have like a foiled finish to them. They're very impressive. I really wish Huda would put more of that formula in her palettes. I don't know why she does. The other palettes, those shimmers get like hard pan so easy. They're terrible. I'm using Neon Obsessions on my eyes today. These shimmers were crap, but the ones in this palette are incredible. But I always thought I didn't like the mattes because I had to build them too much. I didn't have any issues this time. So I did reach for this palette a bunch for those two shimmers and I always use these three mattes, which are the boring ones, but that's all right. So I did this for my transition crease outer corner color. Love, love, love. It's just really easy to use. You can create some beautiful looks. Again, I never did an all matte look out of here, but love this and I'm so happy I kept it in my collection, gave it another chance because I was very impressed this time. Next, we have a couple lip products, which is of course a surprise because we haven't been wearing lip products very much with the masks and whatnot. So first is a Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper Lip Gloss in the shade Rosy Bronze. I got this as a free gift and I thought that this color was ugly, to be honest with you. I did not think I was gonna like it, but because it's not 
full coverage. It just looks so beautiful on the lips. So it does have a really big applicator. And that is what it looks like very glossy it does have a little bit of shimmer in it it makes your lips look very plump and juicy it's super comfortable on the lips i love this formula i have two shimmer shades i would love to buy some of the creams i don't need to buy any glosses right now but i would definitely recommend these so i would pick up some more in the future i did mention these in my drugstore favorites video which i will link in the cards and the other two lip products would actually be the combo i was attempting to pan this summer kind of given up on it, but I love both of these colors and these formulas. So the first is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Lipstick in the shade Petal, which is a really pretty matte warm pink. And this does have a really nice formula. It is matte and long wearing without being too drying or uncomfortable, which is very impressive. And then we have the Buxom Full On Lip Cream in the shade Mudslide, which is like a neutral coral color. Cream sickle is a lot lighter. It's more of like a pastel and this really is like a neutral coral. So beautiful. I love these two layer on top of each other. So amazing colors and formulas. And lastly, I have one nail polish. This is one of the holographic shades from Color Club and this is super natural. It is a beautiful turquoise shade that has some silver holographic particles in it. It is so unique and stunning. I think that Color Club makes the best holographic polishes. I have Harp on it, which is the holographic silver. Not that I've tried a ton of hollows, but these are worth the money to me because they're so, so impressive. And I found this at Walmart. So definitely recommend you pick it up. The formula was great, easy to apply, lasted pretty well on my nails and looked stunning. So those are all of my beauty favorites. Four random favorites, I don't have a ton. The first would be a pop socket. So I had gotten one from Ulta as a free gift and it was working really well. And then one day it just broke, but it was free. So I know it was not the best quality. So I wanna get another one, but I got really used to holding my phone like this. And the best thing for me is that I have to watch YouTube on my phone to fall asleep at night, which is a terrible habit, but I rely on it now. And I love that the pop socket would help my phone sit up on my bed and I miss it. I need to get another one. If you have any recommendations, please let me know down below. Then there were a couple TV shows, Monk, which is like a comedy crime TV show. It's not crime. He's like solving criminal cases and he has like super intense OCD, but he is a genius. He picks up on things that others don't and he helps solve crimes. He's amazing. It's an old show that I haven't had new episodes for years, but I did well, like binge it this summer and just loved it. And then of course, Selling Sunset, who doesn't love that show? I am team Chriselle all day. Davina can kick rocks. Christine is one of the most gorgeous people I've ever seen, but I also think she sucks. She just sucks. So I have a lot of thoughts about that show and I really hope they get picked up for a fourth season. I don't know why not, considering that now the show is starting to blow up after season three. So I'm gonna cross my fingers that they will have a season four. If you guys have watched it, what do you think? I'm a Housewives person, so of course I love this kind of show too. Super interesting. And for life updates, I'm gonna keep it short and quick. Justin and I did buy our first house, which is really exciting. We've lived in a couple apartments over the past couple years, but we finally bought a house and we do live in DC now, which I'm okay with it. I liked living in Northern Virginia, but Justin really wanted to be in DC and things are going good so far. I'm liking our neighborhood a lot. I love our house. We've had some little issues with it, but it is going good currently. So that's just been super exciting. And it's like another thing that makes me feel more adult is that we actually own a house. So that is really fun and exciting. I don't know that I would do a house tour because we're really bad at decorating, but I would love to know what TV shows you guys are watching right now. And I would love to know what your summer beauty favorites have been. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.